Good morning, Adam. Good morning, Reed. Welcome <laughs> to New York, a very sunny uh, New York day. Um, so everybody, if, if you're just tuning in, it's sunny. You're, you're Skyping in from New York outside of a Starbucks. Um, this is Adam Gilad, who's a good friend of mine. Um, for those of you meeting him for the first time, Emmy, Emmy nominated television producer, um, Emmy nominated dad. So relationship intimacy. You do a lot of, and have been doing a lot of business and and educating people online for several years. Yeah. So I just want to thank you to just for being willing to kind of share your advice on affiliate stuff. Um, because I'm as I get ready to launch my first you know affiliate program, um, I figured I'd reach out to you and, and a couple other of my peers who are good at this just for advice. Like basically for the next you know 10, 15 minutes, I want to have a conversation with you just kind of telling me all the things not to do um, and, and the things that you look for in a good affiliate so that so that I can help. And you, you can help me educate and train the sex ed community, the sex positive professional community yeah. in, in all this stuff. Yeah. Um, so I guess the first question is like for you, you know, why do you do affiliate programs at all? Um, and, and what do they give you uh, as, a, as a business person? Well, I have this affection for this thing called eating. And uh, basically... My affiliate community, uh, you know, is my is has been the ninety percent of my business. No, not ninety percent, but a big percentage of my business. Um, it's a way, you know, I have special areas of expertise. My friends have areas of expertise, and so it's a way for us to introduce each other, obviously, to our programs and people who want to educate themselves, whether it's around intimacy, sex, love, dating, relationship, any any of that. Um, they often want all of it. And most of us can't produce all of it, and some people are better at some stuff. And mm -hmm. some people just have a different point of view and bring their own wisdom. Um, so it's a great way to share uh, information, and everybody wins. Everybody, when it's done right, everybody, everybody profits. Everybody wins. Mm -hmm. and, and generally, people are appreciative. As long as the audience is respected and not bombarded, uh, people are appreciative to, uh, um, to have new information introduced to them if it's introduced that way. Like, hey, sure. my friend Reed is an, is an expert on XYZ. I just went through his program. And it's important, by the way, to as an affiliate to say to your people, I looked at his program. You know, I read it. And it was great. Um, rather than people just throwing – it's probably not a problem in your community, but just throwing product, throwing product, throwing product. It's just kind of disrespectful. <laughs> well, so, and, that, and that's one of the things I'm, I want to make sure is – as the sex education community starts doing more of this stuff, yeah. um, is that we're not throwing a bunch of, you know, out testing it out. Like, I used to be really kind of anti-affiliate right. programming because, you know, I would ask people, people would approach me, be like, hey, you know, will you promote this? And I'd be like, send me a copy of it. And they'd never send me a copy of it. So I could never test drive right. their material. Um, I have a couple of friends of mine that I promote their stuff sight unseen because I've already tried their materials mm -hmm. and have a big, a deep respect for one, how they create their content and two, how they promote it. Yeah. Because I think for me personally, early on, you know, around business and learning business, I, I got, I got some, on some email lists from some people who really did bombard you. Yeah. And I just got this really bad taste in my mouth about affiliate marketing um, and affiliate partnership stuff. And so now as I realize the opportunity to promote other people's information that they specialize in areas I don't, and also the ability to expand your reach yeah. and reach more people, yeah. now I'm having to eat crow and be like, goodness, I, my weirdness around affiliate stuff. So like, what do you look for? Okay. How do you know when somebody's a bad affiliate person and you shouldn't be partnering with them? Okay, that's it's a really good question because you can you can screw up your business. You can really alienate your list if you do this wrong. Um, and you and I, I mean, I come out of writing. I'm a writer, a television writer, screenwriter, academic, and you know, researcher and writer. 
I had to learn business, okay? I never, I never studied business. As a matter of fact, when I was in college, I used to write a column for the school paper, and I wrote this screed against, I said, how could you be 18 years old and studying business? This world is full of beauty and art and love. and You know, how could you be doing that? Right, now I know, okay? So, um, so I had to learn business. So it's, it, the, the bottom line is this is a, it's a professional pursuit. So it needs to be treated pro- professionally. So let's, let's go through a few things. How to look for a great affiliate, how to be a great affiliate, mm-hmm. right? And how to train your friends to help become better affiliates, right? There's three things. So um, when I look for someone uh, for my product launch, first of all, the first rule of being a good affiliate is that you don't come to someone and say, hey, will you promote my stuff? You know, l- treat affiliate marketing like friendship. So when, you're, when you meet somebody, you say, hey, can I borrow $20? Or, hey, how about giving me something? You come mm-hmm. in natural reciprocity. You say, hey, Reed, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, you know, I'm working on sexuality. Um, I have a small list, 300, 500, 2,000 people. You know, I really respect stuff. I'd love to promote your stuff first. Right? You, mm-hmm. do some, you do something for the other person first. You know, when you have a big list like I do and someone comes to me and just out of nowhere, hi, you don't know me, but I have this great product. Will you sell it for me? I'm like, I don't know you. Like, you're not my friend. So really think of it as friendship. Like, I have people come to me and go, look, I don't have a big list, but I really love your stuff and I'd like to promote your things because someday I'd like to promote, you know, I'd like to ask you to promote mine. But first, I really just want to show good faith. That's beautiful. That's someone you're going to like and do business with forever. So the first rule is treat it like friendship, you know. Got it. All right. Second, obviously, their work aligns with mine in some way. Uh, I work in the female niche and the male niche. And as everyone knows, in the male niche, you have a lot of pickup stuff. I will not mail for anyone who talks about bitches and banging and all that kind of stuff. If there's like, disrespectful stuff, uh, I've really cleaned that out. Because mm-hmm. I started out in that community because that was the only community I knew. You know, I marketed to that community. But anything that's disrespectful or it doesn't align with me, I won't mail. So that's kind of obvious. Um, when you look for a good affiliate... Um, you want to make sure they have a solid business reputation so that they haven't cheated people, they haven't not paid um, uh, their affiliates. One mm-hmm. of the ways to solve this, although ClickBank is a little sketchy around sexuality, is to use ClickBank if you can mm-hmm. because uh, tracking is a huge question. So you want to ask your affiliate. If someone's mailing for you, if you're mailing for somebody, they're going to ask you, how do you track your sales mm-hmm. and how can I see the numbers? Right, which is a perfectly valid question to ask. It's in the old days; it wasn't just people. It was kind of the wild west. But now you want to know. Okay, I want to know how many sales with ClickBank. If people aren't familiar with it, ClickBank immediately splits the money. Like if you make if you make a sale, money goes into one account, goes into the other account right away. So everyone gets paid. The Got problem it. with some affiliates that they collect all the money, and then you're like, "Hey, where's my money?" <laughs> it's like, "Oh yeah, I'll yeah. get to it." Oh, you know, I ran out of money this month. And that happened, all right? It it. For people who use ClickBank, ClickBank, again, is a little sketchy around sexuality. You have to be careful of your language. And you can work with them. You can get mm-hmm. a, rep, a rep there and work with them to figure out what's allowed, what's not allowed. That's one way to solve it is use ClickBank. It makes mm-hmm. tracking easy. There are other ways to make tracking easy. I'm a huge fan of um, transparency. So I mm-hmm. will let people see my own sort of, if I'm using one shopping, I use ClickBank for everything now. Because I fucking hate accounting. Like, it makes me crazy. I don't want to even look at numbers. You know, they, it really, they just do it and it's good. It costs a little extra percentage, but fuck yep. it. You know, no one has to think about it. Everybody gets paid. Everybody feels honored. It's awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, but when I was using one shopping cart, I would show people my page. Here's your sales. Here's your affiliate link. And I'd show them live on the, on the, on the computer. You know, mm-hmm. be transparent. It's super yeah. important that nobody feels like they're getting cheated or anything like that. So transparency sure. and tracking. Huge words. All right, next. Okay, um, uh, okay here's another one. Uh, I'm talking about if, if someone wants to sell their product to your list, okay? Um, if you're going to someone with a bigger list, you can offer a 75%. I've offered up to 80% affiliate fee. So if I have a $100 mm-hmm. product, I'll pay someone $80 if they'll sell to their list. If they've got like a three, four 400,000 person list, they're doing me a huge favor because I'm getting access to all these new people. My yep. money is made in the long term. This is a long term business. So if I'm sure. getting lots of new clients, I'm willing to not make so much up front to build a relationship over time with clients. If they like my stuff, you know, that's the idea. You want people on your list who actually. And do you think um, if, like, if, if I did something like that, like, let's say, you know, I'm giving you a, a 78%, you know, cut, um, and then. 
like am I locked in then for every promotion I do no, with you from no. now on for Andy, or like is what's the standard practice of no standard. negotiating percentage? There's okay. no standard. So well, when I go to someone with a huge <laughs> list, mm-hmm. you know, I'll say I'll give you seventy five percent or sixty percent. You know, yeah. and for most people, it's fifty percent. You just split it, right? That's that's standard. Um, in the, in a, but if you really want to show your good faith, you know, and you establish yourself, and you want to build your list, you offer more. That's okay. The the goal is not to like make lots of money today. It's to build a business over time, right? That's sure. what I mean. Think about it as a business. So sometimes, or, or even, or even like for example, like if I wanted to get my product into a marketplace that I think really needed it, I could target somebody. In who in that industry and say, hey, listen, like I'm incentivizing. I want to reach these people, so you know I could I could cut you a, a higher yes a higher affiliate fee. And and you're saying like around transparency, just be really transparent about about what your what yeah. your focus and intention is, so that this, there's not some weird agenda going on. And they're gonna figure everybody. Anyone in this market knows what's going on anyway. They're gonna figure. Okay. Everybody knows what's going on. Like it's not hard. It's not that complicated. You know? Yeah. It's like I want to build a list. I want to sell more shit over time. I get it. Okay. So build a list. That's good. Now you know people like uh, Evan Pagan, David Angelo will pay like 125 percent um, affiliate fee sometimes, um, uh, just because he knows his back end is so well developed that he'll make money over time. So that's that's nobody really has to do that, <laughs> but just it gives you an idea of like if you if you know that you're building a back end business and you're building a yep. long term business, you're willing to pay up front. Now something you can do, like if someone came to me who has a small list and doesn't really have a lot to offer me, and uh, said, "Look, I'd like to offer you seventy five percent up front on the on mm-hmm. the primary product, and then there's two upsells. Always a good idea when you have an affi- when you have a sale to have upsells, right? If people are mm-hmm. in the buying mood, they'll buy more. So. Um, and then the upsells are fifty percent. That's fair. That's cool. Seventy-five upfront, fifty percent of upsells, fifty percent of continuity. Everybody's happy. It's it's Got kind it. of a mark of respect. Otherwise, okay, fifty-fifty good. through is fine. All right. Well, so that's and, yeah. And thank you for that because I think walking into it with people who've been doing it for a while. Yeah. If I if I know how to present myself and and have done my research, that's going to land on you. Like, wow, here's this new kid with this small list, but like. This is impressive. They actually kind of know their way around the space. Right. Um, you want to come off like a pro. Mm-hmm. And also say, hey, I have this product. You know, first of all, what can I do for you? How can I serve your business? It's a beautiful thing to say. You know, it's like a, literally like a friendship, okay? Because um, I, get, I get letters at least once a week from guys, girls, all over the world. Hey, I have this amazing product. It's the best thing ever. I don't know who you are. Yeah, you know, I generally don't even answer if I know if if they, if they come off like I want you to sell this to me because you're going to make a lot of money. <laughs> that's what Got they're it. Saying. They, don't say that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So that's number one. Now, how to be a good affiliate partner is uh, something else I want to talk about. Okay. Sure. Um, and this is really really super important. Mm-hmm. If you are creating a product, like I'm creating a product right now. Uh, we're coming out with it in January. We're in November right now talking. Beautiful day in New York. Thank you, global warming. Um, so we're coming out in January. I'm going to ask my affiliates to mail for it in January. I'm telling them now, hey, I've yeah. got this product. This is what it's about. And these are people I already know. Um, this is what it's about. You know, I, This is why I think it's going to be successful. I really put my heart into it. And we're scheduling a launch at the end of January. I'm giving them two months' notice. Give people notice because if, if you're running a, an online information business where you're selling products – and programs and coaching, you know, you've generally got some scheduling in the future. And so, mm-hmm. like, someone hit me up last week and said, I've got this great launch. And it's a guy I love, and he's done great things for me. He hosted this amazing mastermind in Vegas. Great thing to do, by the way, create a mastermind. So, you're training each other, like, what you've mm-hmm. learned. We can talk about that. I'll do one with you, man, um, for the Sex Geek community. I'll do it with you. It'll be awesome. Yeah. Because everyone shares their information. Like this is how this worked for me. This didn't work for me. This kind of sounds yeah. crappy. This people hate this. People like this. We'll do one. And we'll do it in Vegas. It's so much fun. Anyway, this guy um, brought together people from around the world. Got a luxury suite. We don't have to do that. Um, and uh, spent some dough and brought together great people. And so yeah. he hit me up last week and he said, "I've got this program. I'm sure it's a good program. He's a great guy. I'll do anything for him. He's been really nice to me, you know." And um, and I said, but next week, you know, it's next week, and I've actually, I'm actually launching a program next week of my own. So I'm going to do what I can to help him because he's my buddy. He's done nice things for me. Um, Got it. But it's, it's one yeah. week is not much lead time to schedule. I don't want to fuck up my launch. So give people lead time. 
Number one. Got it. Number two. Um, this is this is really big, and this may sound advanced for people who are new at this. And it took me, Jesus Christ, it took me six years to learn this. Ready? Hmm? Your business, your business is based on pretty much one thing only. Ready? How well does your sales page convert? Now, none mm -hmm. of us want to believe that. We want to think it's our reputation. We want to think it's the quality of the product. Yes, in the long term, that matters. It really matters. But your business, the money you pull in, and the, and the, and the desire of affiliates to mail for you depends on one thing. And that's the, that's the how does your sales page convert? And that doesn't mean like, okay, pretty good, really good. It means I get a 1.25 EPC. And we can mm -hmm. talk, that's really detailed. But you want to know exactly how that page is converting. So this is, this is the higher level stuff, right? In the beginning, you yeah. can mail for each other and see how it goes. But I can't stress enough for everybody, put attention into um, learning what converts on a sales page, on a squeeze page and a sales page. Because that makes all the difference. That's your money, okay? Yeah. Um, and, you know, we just paid, I just paid $10,000, $15,000 to somebody to help me with a sales, a, a, a video sales letter because I know it's a great product. I know it's a great market. I'm a really good sales letter writer. I actually get hired by other people to help them with their marketing. They just pay me. Mm -hmm. um, but somehow with my own stuff, it's harder. You know, I needed fresh eyes. So I'm paying 15 grand because I know it's going to convert way beyond that to make sure that page converts like mad. Because once your Got page it. converts, people will mail for you all the time. People are more than happy to mail for you because they're going to make money. Yeah. And if you have, if you have, if you have good content, you have, um, you give people lead time, and you have a page that like, converts well. Then there's re there's re not a lot of reason for me to not promote your work unless your product just doesn't. Isn't for my demographic at all. Right, exactly. Sometimes, yeah, I mean, like I know, like sometimes we need quick cash. I'll go, okay, I'll go to ClickBank, what's the highest converting offer that's aligned with me, and I'll mail for it because I know mm -hmm. it's going to convert. So yeah. um, it's very, very important to pay attention to your sales page. And, you know, and it's very important to invest in your time uh, programs or hiring somebody to, um, to help you. Now, I'm really good, by the way, and I sometimes am for hiring. <laughs> <laughs> True story. I am. But I've, it's like a skill that I have. And it's writing. You know, it's like, it's, it's especially, it's, a, it's really about connect. I'm talking about this because I'm actually doing one for someone today. Um, it's about connecting with your audience. And it's, it's the same like writing a movie. And I wrote movies for years. It's how do you pull them into your story? How do you, you know, and there's a science to it. So anyway, that's uh, really pay attention to yeah. the conversion of your offer. So what you want to do is you want to test it to your list. That's fine. But you can't go to an affiliate and say, hey, I mailed this offer to my list and I got, you know, two. 2.4 EPC. They already know you. What you want to do is go to a couple of your friends and say, hey, I'm doing a test mailing. Will you test mail this for me? I'll pay 75% as a gesture. Nice gesture. And would you test mail? I'm testing the conversion of this page. And then they'll mail for you. Then you can go to your big affiliates or the, the massive affiliates and go, hey, I went to this list. They didn't know me. It's a cold list. And we converted at whatever. And this is the average dollar sale. That's professional. Now I know that you're for real. You've tested your page. You've, you've, te you've, you've made sure it converts. You've tested it on a cold list. And you're coming at me like a business person. Now, again, I, 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 it's just taken me many years to see myself as a business person. <laughs> you know, I'd much yep. rather run through the forest you know, and sing. That's my natural <laughs> self. You know, that's who I am. But you know, I have to and, eat. And what's the, what's, the, what's the conversion of you running through the forest? Like, How many squirrels actually <laughs> follow you? They run. They run away. <laughs> but I'm happy. You know, it's like you got to know yourself. Uh. So I, I, I happen to be just a lover of the beauty of this world and that – you know, I'm reading this great book, Mastery, by the way, if you haven't seen mm -hmm. it, by Robert okay. Greene. By Robert Greene. It's really, he wrote The Art of Seduction and he wrote The Art of Power. Yeah. And he does these really interesting studies of these kind of things. And I'm, I'm, so it's on my mind. He talks about like really knowing your natural inclination. Unfortunately, law, medicine, not my natural inclination. Yeah. Running through the forest, singing at squirrels, my natural inclination. Yeah. Joy and is, you're, you're pretty I'm pretty what? I'm pretty what? You're pretty good at you're pretty good at this affiliate thing. Well, I'm pretty good at it, yeah. But I, mean, I had to become good at. It. That's what I'm saying. This I had to learn to do this. You know, but joy, joy is my first language. Okay, so uh, that's next. All right. So um, as an affiliate, as when someone comes to me, I look at their squeeze page and their sales page, mm -hmm. and make sure it's not embarrassing. Okay. 
like there's a famous uh, sales page written by a friend of mine, Benson, I don't know if you know John, um, with a goldfish on it. it. says, hi, my name is Josh, this is a goldfish, and it's, I'm going to show you how this goldfish will get you laid. Believe it or not. Makes, made a fortune. Mm -hmm. So then people started mailing me, hey, will you mail my product? Oh, okay, a girlfriend, you know, how to get a girlfriend, not just date. Okay, I'll look at that. First thing. Hi, this is a honey badger, and this honey badger is going to teach you how to get laid. I'm like, I'm not going to mail this because it's obvious <laughs> ripoff. You know, it's like, if you have to pay attention to you, it's like so stupid. So, uh, so <laughs> honey badger, right? I mean, I love the honey badger. <laughs> but, um, so you, you can't, you don't want to send stuff out that embarrasses you. Also, if okay. the content, you want to look at the sales page, make sure it's not embarrassing content, you know? Yeah. In the men's world, you have to watch out for that shit. I don't know, in the sex geek world, not so much. But you have to watch out for like, I'm going to bang 10 bitches. Oh, I don't want to, go away. <laughs> you know? Got it. So you have to look at it. Okay, now, as a good affiliate, and this is for you, mm -hmm. what you want to do is make sure you provide samples of swipe. I suggest five or six emails that you write that are well-written marketing letters, not just letters, but well-crafted, check out this product letters, um, five or six emails that you send to your affiliate and say, hey, here, instead of you having, instead of you having to do all the work and come up with some kind of letter, here's five or six letters. Optimally, I've tested these letters on other lists and this one converts the best and put them in order and you can now adapt this to your voice and your list. But it gives people a structure. I am so grateful for that. I don't, I don't like writing. You know, I don't want to have to go in and look at someone's product and figure out how to sell it. I want the person who has the product yep. <laughs> to have pulled out those key counterintuitive, amazing bits of knowledge that, are, um, that people go, wow, that's interesting, right? And then put mm -hmm. that in the swipe. Like, did you know that the, like for online dating, for example, most people don't know that like, pretty much 20% of marriages now start online, right? So that's a really interesting fact. So it might be, if you hate online dating, read this. So your header has to be really good. If you, if you swore you'd never do online dating, you better read this. And then you read. You know, I know you hate online dating. You never know if someone's lying, blah, blah, blah. But the truth is, those are mostly stories. The truth is that 20% of marriages now start online. And there's a reason. Now, if you're going to online date, do it right. And if you want to learn how to do it right, get Adam Gilad's program because he shows you how to attract a man by his character instead of mere characteristics. Check, mm -hmm. out, check out the video he made, and that's my sales page, where he talks about, and this is really good. So I made, I made a video, I don't remember what it's about. I think it's the three, uh, we'll take an example. I have something called Intimacy University for women, and it's about <laughs> commitment. And, and, it, and it says, you know. Um, you, if you're frustrated with men, read this. So it says, you know, there are five obstacles that men who actually do want to commit and have a, a love relationship because it's been proven scientifically that men are happier, they live longer, they, they're more productive when they're in a relationship. True story. Um, but there are five key hurdles that men need to get over, you know. And, I, and my friend Adam made this video, and it's not selling anything. My friend Adam made this video that goes into detail about these five obstacles and how you can help a man navigate through them, right? Mm -hmm. So, and it's not a big sale. And then go watch the video. That's it. It's not buy his shit. Go watch the video. Now, the video is so good in terms of offering content, like saying, hey, you know, men, you know, they're, they're confused. Like, they, they want to be free, but they really want to be loved. There are five obstacles that really get in their way. Let's go through them and, and how, how you as a woman can navigate them, right? And, it's, and it often has mm -hmm. to do with communication. So then the content is so good, by the time they get to the webinar, the end of that sales letter or webinar, they're like, wow, this guy really knows what he's talking about. And at the end of the webinar, it says, if you'd like my complete work, you know, here it is. It's only, you know, it's not $5,000. It's only $47 today, that kind of thing. So it's a soft sell. So that's very nice. But the point right. is, going back to swipe, the swipe sends you to something that's interesting. Not, hey, go check, you know. And, and look, the swipe could be like, hey, have you ever wanted to know how to give a better blowjob? Go check out Reads. You know, go check out this product. Yeah. It's awesome. I've looked at it. It's you know whatever it is. So what you want to do? You want to give them the swipe so they don't have to think. So they don't have to work. Got it. And and say to them, please, of course, adapt it to your voice. Right. All right. Yeah. So give great swipe and no bullshit. Your friends probably won't do this, but I get these things where people say send out this swipe because they've learned to send out swipe, right? And they send me swipe, and they said, you know, from my voice, right? Hey, this is Adam. Check out Goofball's program on how to be the sexiest man in the world. 
He is the smartest, best, most amazing. This is the best shit I've ever seen in my life. I had an orgasm when I read this. I want to fuck him. He's <laughs> he, he's a god, you know. And that's they send me this shit, you know. It's like, sorry, I'm in public. I'm in New York, so they're like they'll send me this stuff saying this is the god of dating. I'm like, no, you're not the fucking god of dating. Don't give me exaggeration. Just give me something valuable piece of information that people are impressed with so that they'll make the effort to go learn more, okay? So I've seen a lot of that. It cracks me up. All right, so don't bullshit, all right? All right. Now, uh, your last question, I wrote them down, is what are the common mistakes an affiliate does that make me crazy? And believe me, I've probably made every mistake myself. So mm -hmm. this is after years of doing this, okay? And just really seriously making every mistake, like really embarrassing. Um, what not to do, what are common mistakes an affiliate does that drive me crazy and lose them and me money. Okay, um, not having good tracking. Now again, with ClickBank, it tracks it automatically. You gotta have good yep. tracking. They've gotta make sure they're affiliate links. I did a launch, I trusted somebody a year and a half ago. We had a big launch, we sold a lot of product and the guy didn't have the links right. So I didn't know who sold what. Got it. So what I had to do is I said, look, here are all the sales here, and I, and I made it public. I said, look, here are all the sales that went through. Here are all the clicks that each of you sent, right? Because I can track the clicks that they sent. I said, I don't know what to do except the only honest thing I can do is just split the money according exactly to the ratio of the clicks you sent, not the, not the sales you had. And I'm really sorry, but my guy did not set it up right. I should have, you know, I should have been overseeing it, it, but I trusted him. <clears throat> And I didn't oversee it myself, and it was very embarrassing. And I, I could have lost these affiliates for life if I didn't jump on it right away and say, "Look, I'm paying you everything. I'm not keeping anything for myself. I'm taking all the money, overpaying everybody, so that everyone feels good." And that was a really good thing to do. So, Got it. Um, tracking, tracking, tracking is so important. Um, paying on time, duh. You know, you tell somebody, "I'm doing an affiliate link." So in your case, read. You're doing a launch. I'm doing an affiliate, mm -hmm. I'm doing a launch. If you mail for me, you will get paid when 30 or 60 days, whatever it is. Um, sometimes there's a money back guarantee, so you have to make sure you have enough cash to, to handle that. Um, if people do chargebacks, you'll have to swallow that. So you might, you want to be as clear as possible and say, I'm paying in 30 days, <coughs> you'll get paid on this day. Okay? Got it. Uh, okay. That's, the, I mean, that's really it. Tracking, being nice, keeping people, right, tracking, hold on. Um, Tracking, paying on time, and the more clear you can be, say I'm paying on this day. That's good, and then mm -hmm. being really nice, <laughs> the crazy concept, and then keeping people informed. So, hey, it's coming up. You know, we're doing it in two weeks. Remember to mark your calendar. December thirteenth is my launch. You know, I'm. If you can, I'd love you to mail December thirteenth, fifteenth, seventeenth, and um, and and then a week before another reminder. By the way, here's a great thing to do. I've added another bonus to make it even more of a no-brainer for people to buy, so the value is so great. Sorry, this truck. Mm -hmm. And then, and then of course, the other big thing that's been happening is um, uh, affiliate launch contests. So, do you know anything about that? Yes, I do. Yeah. So you want to reward your best affiliates with gifts. Yeah. Yeah, so you know, it's not, add to my stack of iPads. <laughs> so that that was the, everyone. Everyone's offering iPads for like two, a year and a half. So like, I have like extra iPads, so I give them away. But because um, I have a good list, you know. Uh, but like, you know, think about what would be a nice thing for people, and uh, so you know, you offer them a choice. Like, so, like in the men's, they was like, I'll get you this watch. I don't fucking wear a watch. You know, it's like my life is all about not wearing a watch. But they'll say, I'll, you know, you have this three thousand dollar watch or the cash equivalent. Now, cash I use. I wear cash, not for long, <laughs> but I tend to wear it quickly, and uh, then I'm not wearing it. But I have to take care. Of, that's a personal issue I need to take care of. Kind of hang on to that cash. Um, so, uh, offer nice gifts for the top five affiliates. Um, they don't have to be over the top. Look, they don't have to be huge gifts. Yeah. I mean, in the internet marketing world, they give away cars, right? In our world, it could be an iPad, could be a fifty dollars gift or certificate to Amazon. What? Could be a vibrator. <laughs> Any anything. It could be like a free coaching session. It could be um, yeah. 
you know, a free massage, you know, work out a massage deal with somebody, work out, whatever it is, just it doesn't matter. It's a gesture. Yeah. And then I like to do, um, yeah. cause the problem is that in a niche, there tends to be a couple of guys, a couple of people who are always win. Um, so have gifts for number five through 10 that are nice, you know, just something nice. I don't know, Could be, yeah. I don't know what it is, but it's nice to, to, to make everyone feel loved and wanted. And then the other nice thing you can do, everybody, is for 10 through 20, don't tell them they're getting anything, but give them some. We just thank you. Just, even if it's small, nice. $25 gift certificate to something, you know, to a, a, star, a Starbucks card. And who doesn't want a Starbucks card? <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, like really, like that, my big message is: think of this as a friendship. Yeah. You know, you just you want yeah. to treat people treat. respectfully, give more than you yeah. promised, um, make everybody happy, and be re super respectful of their time. Pay your bills on time. You know, pay your affiliate stuff on time, and make life easy for them. Got it. All right. Awesome. And I'm happy. Thank you so much. Ah, it's my pleasure. I love this stuff. This is yeah. Uh, it, and the crazy thing is, Reed, it's maybe true for you too. Like when I look at my friends, like they're all my affiliates. Like this has become my world. Like we really are friends with each other. We vacation together. We do masterminds together. It's, uh, it's, and, and we help each other. And we really help each other. Like we try to mm -hmm. figure out, like we call each other all the time. Hey, I'm stuck on this. Well, what have you seen? What works? And it's nice. Yeah. It's, a, it's a nice community where everyone really is helping each other. So that's, that's the big message. Well, thanks for, um, one, thanks for spending extra time with us. Um, but helping demystify some of the best practices around affiliates. Cause I know for me, as I walk into this, like I'm nervous, like I want, I want to be that person that people want to work with. And like any new skill set, you know, like you're saying, like you've made all those mistakes. Oh yeah. I think it's important <laughs> to reach out to our peers and say, Hey, what mistakes, you know, how can I avoid those mistakes? Cause I don't think we all have to reinvent the wheel every time. No, no, and you will screw up, by the way. And when you screw up, the best thing to do is go, hey, I really screwed up. I'm going to make it up to you in excess. Awesome. Yay. Um, so I'll, I'll be directing people back to the page on my website that will have all your links and information so that people can, can, uh, can find you. But, but what's, the, what's the best email or the one place people can look for you if they need to find you? Uh, you know, it's the Internet. You find me anywhere, Facebook. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, Adam Gillard at gmail.com. Yep. Um, my programs, people don't know me. I have erotic mastery in your realm. I have intimacy university for women. For I have online dating products for men and women, confidence for men. I'm doing a product on conflict, how to handle conflict, mm -hmm. which is going to be so fucking deep, by the way. Nice. Um, how to, it's called conflict into cuddling for women. And for men, it'll probably be called how not to fucking fight with your girlfriend ever again. So <laughs> same product. <laughs> same product. Different language. <laughs> so, but it's, it really goes deep about how to take, um, you know, how to, how to take the, the feminine need for trust and safety and, mm -hmm. and connection it, uh, primarily and the male need for not feeling inadequate and mm -hmm. really taking care of that. And then you can have all the communication skills. So it goes deep. So that's the kind of thing I do I, across the board. Um, I'm happy to hear what everybody's okay. doing and thank you. This is fun. Awesome. Thank you, Adam. Uh, I'll keep in touch with you. And, and when you go to launch that product, um, let me know. And, uh, I will and help maybe you. I'll promote it for you. <laughs> and I'll test you. I'll test you on what awesome. a good affiliate you are. All right. Have a great day, man. Thanks, everybody. All right, bye, 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 Adam. Adam, go out, everyone. Thank bye. you. Bye.